what is the best math tool to teach your kids about math or number sense? There's a lot of great things out there and different ideas, but let me tell you why I love the Wreck and Wreck. Hi, I'm Tessa, a first and second grade teacher now staying at home with my two boys. So there are a lot of great math tools out there to teach your kids about math and numbers. Counters and blocks are great. So little counters or blocks, those are great for beginning kiddos as they're learning, they can count and physically move the blocks and it helps avoid double counting. Um, however, if I could only pick one tool, I would choose the math rack. And let me tell you what it is first if you're not familiar with it. It's a visual math tool designed to help kids with number sense. So it's similar to an abacus. Um, however, it's got the color change. So the five red, five white, which I think is really important. Uh, visually, it helps kids subitize and work on that mental math. So why is this the best? Well, kids similar to counters and blocks can physically move the beads and as they get faster, they can begin to subitize. And if you're not familiar with that, I'll link a video above that can give you more of an idea about that. But basically it is helping kids see number patterns and that just helps with their mental math and their ability to solve problems a little faster. Okay, for example, let's take the problem five plus six, and let's say we're just starting out on blocks. Three, four, five. So there's five, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then trying to find five plus six all together, your kiddo, as they're starting, they might count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Another way they might do it, if they've counted out the five and the six and they know how to count on, so they'll see this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so they come up with their answer. Now let's look at that same problem with the math rack. <clears throat> so they will find their five. Okay, so that's the beginning there. Now, once they've learned uh, to subitize and see those numbers faster and they've worked with the math rack some, they'll just know that that grouping of red is five. So they, are, they can find their five there in one push and then they'll see there's the five and they know one more than five makes six. So they'll push over their six. And then they look over here and they can see that they've got two rows of red, so five and five, and if they know their doubles, they know five and five is 10 and one more is 11. Okay, so comparing the two, let's say I ask you, what is this number or how many blocks? Can you tell this is 11 right away? That's really tricky, isn't it? Now, if we look up here and I say, what number is this? It's a lot easier to see without individually counting the beads because you're familiar with these, you see, five and five, you know, five and five is 10, one more is 11. Okay, so it's just that much faster for kiddos once they become familiar with the math rack. So in addition to subitizing, math racks help with that mental math and you can use it for all basic math facts, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And as a teacher, I loved these because they're just so simple to use. They're easy to get out, use, and then clean up mess-free. So it's great for that. And finally, I love how it allows kids to show their understanding and math reasoning. So I can ask, show me how you know that. And the kids could, as they're trying to explain it, they could show and it just helps them verbalize it. And it, it's a little tricky for kids. They often just say, oh, I just knew it. So it allows, uh, it kind of gives them a way to help explain. So hopefully you're seeing how beneficial a wreck and wreck can be. Let's get into how to make one. But if you're not interested in making one, I will link in the description box this math rack and feel free to get it there. And also subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when the next video comes out. And that will go into ways you can use this with your kiddos. So let's get started on how to make it. 
Okay, so to make it is pretty much as simple as it looks. So you've just got your pipe cleaner, you're going to add on your beads, five red then five white, or five white then five red, as long as they're not alternating colors or anything, you want the colors together. And then once you get them all on there, whoops, you are pretty much done. If you're just starting out and your kids aren't familiar, I would just stick with this 10 strand. As they become more familiar, you could add in another strand and you'll put it on something sturdy, just a piece of cardboard works great. So I just kind of bend it back like that and then tape the back and that'll get you started. You might choose to invest in another math rack later on, but this will definitely at least get you started and help your kids learn about the math rack. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.